Chiefs, First District. We have uh, William, is he William Preston here today? Precisin, William Precisin here today? Also, we have uh, Kathy Lawrence, who um, I, I know that her mother just recently passed away. And um, I'd like to take this opportunity to remember Mrs. Mary Lawrence in prayer. Um, the Lawrence family um, were clo very close to me over the years. I had the opportunity of, of uh, co-chairing uh, Franny Lawrence's seniors uh, campaigns for many years for district justice in this town. He was a great man, and, and Miss Mary Lawrence was also an outstanding lady. So I'd like for, to ask you to remember the Lawrence family in prayer. Also, we have Marlon Milner with us. I would just like to further say, uh, with regard to the uh, Borough Council, uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate you on, on many of the work that I'm seeing that's going on here in the Borough. All the work out in Logan Square um, that's going on, and um, we're seeing a lot of uh, new things on Main Street and other areas. And we have a strong African-American presence on Council. So this work that you're doing today will be our history of the Mar. So I'm mighty proud of what council is doing here in Norristown now. I would just like to uh, applaud you at this time for a job well done. I know I'm going to miss uh, some dignitaries here this evening when I do this. It's always a hard job. You try to recognize everyone when they come in, but I'm going to do my best. We have with us uh, Albert Johnson, Jr., is the commander of Post 39, American Legion. We have the former mayor of Norristown, Mr. Ted LeBlanc. We have the owner of Thriftway Market in Norristown, Mr. Kim, with us this evening. We have uh, Janet Sempkins, the principal at Roosevelt School, with us this evening. We have Jane Mesquite, McMissonier, I'm sorry. Hey, Jane, I just knew it the other way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See, you know, I mess over it all the time. We also have with us former state representative, Jay Moyer. We have former assistant DA Moon On with us. <laughs> former council uh, member Rochelle Griffin Colbreth is with us. <laughs> we have state representative Matt Bradford with us today. <laughs> we have the assistant. Managing Editor with the Norristown Times, Earl Gordon Glantz with us this evening. We have a group of members of the Norristown NAACP with us. We have the President, Landis Shells. And we have the first Vice President, Ernest Hadrick, Jr. And we have uh, board members, the Milligan brothers, John and Clifton Milligan. And I have a young lady here that, that kept me pretty good shape for over 20 years when I worked as the director of housing services in Montgomery County. She kept me going every day. I just could not sit out and see her there and not recognize her. My administrative assistant that worked with me for 20 years and housing office in Montgomery County Department of Housing and Community Development, Stephanie Stanford Coleman is with us. We have with us the Pathonitary of Montgomery County, a fellow that I got to know during the Page campaign. And uh, he's uh, doing a fine job as Pathonitary of Montgomery County, Mark Levy.
And they tell me that I forgot Gary Simpson. I just got an email from him earlier today. So Gary, don't jump me, please. <laughs> Forgive me, Gary. <laughs> You know, uh, what we do today is tomorrow's history. And I say that because uh, just recently, right here on this council floor, uh, there was some uh, movement with regard to um, uh, police officers and, and getting applications, Act 120 Act, and et cetera. And we brought these concerns to this council. And I would like to really applaud them again for their work in that area because Years ago in Ebenezer Church, I'll give you some brief history. Back in 81 and 82 at Ebenezer Church, we used the, 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 the dining room at that church to knock down barriers to include more minority on the police department. We had Oscar Vance and Kevin McEwen teaching our, our, uh, our tests, uh, teaching our individuals how to properly take tests, to properly take the written, the agility, and other tests. And from that class that we had back then, we, we had Patty Simons, our first woman police officer in Norristown, graduated from our class there. The Feliciana brothers, the first Hispanic officers, graduated from our class there. Uh, and, and Darton, Charlie Darton, had just recently retired after 20 years of service here, graduated from our class there. And they, with all that work to help have a more diverse department in this borough to better serve their folks. They moved and they act uh, on that at their last meeting to make sure that Norristown stands strong to represent their community. And I'd like to applaud the council again for reconsidering their actions on the Act 120. Thanks again. At this time, I'm going to turn the program back over to Captain Rochette. Thank you. <laughs> Hope we didn't miss anyone, but you're all dignitaries to us. So, you can. If you look in the back of your, your program books, you'll see a, on the very back, on the inside back cover, you see in loving memory of Donald Milligan. Many of us know him as Blue Milligan. We just like to let you know that we've dedicating this program and this booklet tonight in his memory. So if you get throughout the night, just take some time out to read that, you know. He's done a lot in this town. Uh, sometimes people didn't agree with him, but you know, we live in a country where you can agree and you can disagree and still get along. Uh, he stood up for what he felt was right. And this is why we live in a country as the United States, the greatest country in the world. We have the right to disagree. And I just want to dedicate this booklet and this program in memory of Donald Blue Milligan. Now at this time, uh, I don't know if the praise dancers are here yet, but we're, I, I was told that they're not here yet. So we're going to skip over them and go to the Norristown Pal Elegant Steppers. And their instructor is Mrs. Nancy Bradley. So we're going to ask them to come on at this time.
Anybody want to try that? <laughs> Come on up here and do it if you think you can. I know I can. I'll be all broke up everything. <laughs> well, we're moving right along. I just, I just noticed uh, Hank, Hank Cisco just walked in. He's the Norristown ambassador. I'd like to welcome, <laughs> welcome him here this evening. Yes. Yes, you may. Mrs. Bradley has certainly worked an awful lot with these kids, and you know, it's not easy working with the youth, you know? I mean, I've been doing it for many, many years, and sometimes they do get on your nerve. But you know, they're our future people. That's Norristown, and we, we gotta continue to encourage them any way that we can. And, and she's been doing a tremendous job working with those young ladies. And just like she said, any time you need them to perform, to perform, all you gotta do is give her a call. These kids are willing and ready to go anywhere. We've sent them all over Pennsylvania to perform, and they've done a tremendous job, you know, making Norristown and the, the PAL Center look good. So we want to thank them for what they've been doing. And right now, we're going to move right along. We're going to have our presentation of the Black Heritage Award at this time. I'm going to ask Mr. Charles James and Jim Williams, they're our program and Black Heritage Award committee members, I'm going to ask them to come forward at this time to make those presentations. Indeed, it gives me a great pleasure to take part in this program. I am deeply honored to present this plaque to Dr. Eva M. Walters in recognition of her dedication and outstanding community service to the borough of Norristown. There are some things that I do know about Dr. Walters. She has worked in the school system here. She has been a forerunner, being on some of the committees here in the borough of Norristown, and many other things in which she has taken part in. And she's done a fine job over the years. And I would like to present this plaque to none other than Dr. Eber Walters. Dr. Walters, we present this plaque from the Black History Committee of Norristown. Thank you so very much. I'm so happy to be a part of Black History associated with the borough 
of Norristown. This is not a small matter with me. I spent my years in the school district, 18 years as the principal uh, it, of three of the school. And uh, one was uh, the Roosevelt Elementary School, the other Lincoln Elementary School, and last but not the least, Gottwald's Elementary School. And I think that uh, Sister uh, Richette and I will have a little fight after this meeting is over. And she talks about Gottwalls, because we spent a lot of extra time bringing them up to where they should be. So I'm just happy tonight. The program has been just wonderful, and it, the children performing just tuned my heart just to even see them. Because one thing when you're retired, you miss the children. And they have been wonderful tonight. Mm. And I believe that they are going to achieve their goals, whatever they are. I just want to say one thing to the children. I know it gets hard sometimes, but you do not give up. You hold on to God's unchanging hand. We hold on to God who will guide you and direct you. It's not an easy task. I've had my ups and downs through the years. Little encouragement during the years that I was coming up. Very little encouragement. I've had principals and coworkers say to me, you'll never make it in, 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 in Pennsylvania oh when they found out that I was um, uh, trying to make the uh, program go in, a, in such a way that it would be pleasing to the entire district with new ideas and new things to do. And when they found out that I was uh, applying for the principal, they said I would never make it. But I did make it. It's the matter. <laughs> and the one that told me that, one of the ones that told me that, was the principal of the school where I was teaching. And the following year, I was assigned to his school, which was the Roosevelt School. And so I've had my trials and tribulations, as the Bible says that we all will have. But be of good cheer. God has overcome Amen. the world. Congratulations, Dr. Roberts. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Our Our next award recipient is um, a person that I remember from my childhood, Mr. Mr. Alexander Bernard. And Mr. Bernard was the first African-American bus driver for the old uh, bus company that became the Schuylkill Valley uh, Bus Lines. And he drove uh, what we call the Loop, uh, which encompassed all of uh, uh, DeKalb Street north out the Johnson Highway, 
uh, from Johnson Highway over to Powell Street, Powell Street all the way back down to uh, Main and Swede Street. And for years he drove that, drove that route. He uh, was, a, was, a, was a sturdy individual and I was asked to share uh, with you how he came to take that position. And there were layoffs at the bus company and so rather than uh, go on uh, unemployment, he uh, decided to apply for the driver's job because he knew that there was a driver's opening position at that time. They, he met with a lot of resistance. Uh, first of all, they said he couldn't drive a bus and, and whatnot. He said, well, he was a bus mechanic. He fixed the buses. And so he said, I can drive them around the yard here. He says, I, I know how to drive a bus. At any rate, after fighting with the, with the, uh, with the superiors, <clears throat> pardon me, he gained uh, access to that driver's seat and he indeed became the, uh, the bus driver on what was, what was known as the loop at that time. And we're talking about probably the uh, late 40s. I don't remember the exact date. His son is here and he may remember the exact date that, that, that he took over those duties. But at that time, there were actually uh, white people in town that would not ride the bus line because he was a black uh, uh, bus driver. So it is uh, with a, a great deal of pleasure that I uh, award this uh, plaque to his son, uh, Alex III. And uh, Alex, we know, we know congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, good to see you. And you want to say a couple words? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, on behalf of the Banner family and uh, my father, he would deeply appreciate this. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for everything. Absolutely. Thanks again. Congratulations. <laughs> we'd, we'd also like, we would, we would uh, ask that the Walters and Bernard family, if you would both stand, please. One more round of applause for both of them. Thank you. It's a whole lot of history there. We saw our first black principal of Norristown and Dr. Walters. We saw the first black bus driver in Norristown and Mr. Alex Benoit. You know, we talk about Rosa Parks when she refused to give up her seat and sit in the back of the bus. She moved to the front of the bus. Mr. Bernard, he moved to the driving the bus. Yeah. And now we even got people that own the bus. We got our president in the White House. He went from the outhouse to the White House. We even have some of our people that have gone up in the spaceship. They went from the slave ship to the spaceship. So we made a lot, a lot of important steps, people. So we are proud people. And we should walk with our heads held up high. We don't have to take a second seat to an Oma. And someday, as Reverend Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King said, Someday we're all going to be able to walk together. We don't worry about color. Don't worry about religion, race. All we're going to be concerned about is the character of your heart. And that's what we should be concerned about. Because God made each and every one of us. It makes no difference what color you are, what religion you are. We're all the same in his eyes because he made us. I don't consider anyone any different than me. I consider each and every one of you my brother and sister. And I'm happy and proud to stand here to be a proud black American.
Now we're getting down to the meat of our program, what you've all been waiting for, something that we fought so long and hard for, to see this man in this seat. So I'm not going to take away Mr. Wright's thunder. He's going to be coming up to introduce our guest preacher. Guest speaker, I'm going to say preacher, guest speaker of the hour. But he can preach too now if we have to. But he's going to, I'm going to ask Mr. Wright to come up right now and introduce our guest speaker of the hour.